geometric progression second lecture today we will study arithmetic or geometric series in such series both ap and gp will be present example a plus a plus d times r plus a plus 2d times r square plus a plus 3d times r cube etc so sum of arithmetic or geometric series is given by a upon 1 minus r where r is common ratio plus d which is common difference of ap times r divided by 1 minus r whole square let's see one example so we are given 1 plus 4x plus 7x square plus 10x cube and so on till n terms we have to find out the sum here ap is 1 4 7 so clearly a equal to 1 and common difference will be 3 and the gp for gp r equal to x now we apply formula so sn is given by a upon 1 minus r plus dr divided by 1 minus r whole square so we put the values a is given as 1 1 minus r r is x plus common difference is 3 d into r into x divided by 1 minus x whole square which is our answer now suppose we are given 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 till n and we have to find out the sum so we write it as sum of natural numbers it will be given by n times n plus 1 divided by 2 for example suppose we are given 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 25 so its sum will be 25 into 26 divided by 2 now sum of squares suppose we are given 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 suppose n square That sum will be. We can also write it sigma n square, which will be equal to n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six. For example, suppose we have one square plus two square plus three square plus dot dot dot. Suppose ten square. So it will be here n is ten. Ten into eleven into Twenty-one divided by six. Now, sum of cubes of natural numbers. Suppose one cube plus two cube plus dot 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 plus n cube, which is also written as sigma n cube. It will be equal to n into n plus one divided by two whole square. If you observe, you will see that. Sigma n is n into n plus one divided by two, and here one cube plus two cube till n cube gives sigma n whole cube. That is n into n plus one divided by two whole square. So now let's see some questions. Question number two. Find the sum of two n terms. We are given one multiplied by two multiplied by three plus two multiplied by three multiplied by four plus three multiplied by four multiplied by five. Dot dot dot. 
emitters. First of all, we have to write general term. Suppose we write general term as Tn, then it will be N into N plus one into N plus two. Why so? Suppose for third term we apply it, we put N equal to three, then this will be three plus one, that's four, and the three plus two, that is five. So it is valid for MCP. For second term, if we put N equal to two, then we will get three from here and four from here. So we simplify it. So it will become n q plus 3n square plus 2n. Now we have to find out the sum sigma n q plus 3n square plus 2n. So we can further write it as sigma n q plus number we can take out 3 sigma n square plus twice of sigma n. Now we apply the formula sigma n cube. We know it is uh, n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square plus twice of sigma n square is given by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 plus twice of sigma n is given by n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Now we can cancel this to 3 ja, and this will become n square n plus 1 whole square divided by 4. So we can simplify it by taking LCM. So finally we will get 1 by 4 n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. And that is your work. You have to solve it and you will check whether this is correct answer or not. Now, let's see next question. Question three. So we are given, find the sum of n terms. The sequence is one plus one plus two plus one plus two plus three plus one plus two plus three plus four plus dot 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 up to n terms. Clearly, general term, if we consider fourth term, there are one, two, three, four. If we consider third term, so numbers are one, two, three. It means a general term, Tn can be written as one plus two plus three plus dot 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 till n. And uh, we know that sum of natural numbers is given by n into n plus one divided by two, which is equal to n square plus n divided by two. Now we have to find out the sum. So we write sum. So one by two, we can write outside and then n square plus n, which will be one by two sigma n square plus sigma n. Now we put the values. So 1 by 2 sigma n square is given by n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 plus sigma n is given by n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and we can solve it. Two steps I am leaving for you. So it will give n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 6. Let's consider next question. Question number 4. Find the sum up to infinity. The sequence is 1 upon 1 into 3 into 5 plus 1 upon 3 into 5 into 7 plus 1 upon 5 into 7 into 9 plus dot dot dot. Now general term we can write Tn as 
odd numbers. So we write it as one upon two n minus one, then two n plus one and two n plus three. We can verify by putting that is suppose we write n equal to one. So from here we will get one, from here we will get three, and then from here we will get five. If we consider second term means n equal to two. If we put here n equal to two, so this will give three, this will give five, this will give seven. So it is correct. Now, in order to find the sum, first of all, we have to simplify it. So for this, we are going to use partial fraction. So partial fraction, we can consider like this. We just write this one upon two n minus one times two n plus one times two n plus three equal to a upon first term two n minus one plus b upon second term two n plus three plus c upon third term two sorry it should have been two n plus one then two n plus three now we take LCM, so we will get 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1, 2n plus 3, then 2n minus 1 will cancel out, a times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3, plus b times 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 3, plus c times, it will be, 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. And in LHS, it is 1 upon 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3. So denominators are equal on both the sides. So we will cancel these. So we will be left with a times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3 plus b times 2n minus 1, 2n plus 3, plus c times 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1, and in LHS it is 1. So let's try to get the values of a, b, c. So it is a times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3, plus b times 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 3 plus c times it is 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. Now let's choose some values of n so that any two parts should be 0. So suppose n equal to minus half. When we put n equal to minus half, this will become 0. And this will also become zero. So we will be left with this term. So one equal to b times n equal to minus half two into minus half minus one times two times minus half plus three. That is one equal to this will cancel out, this will also cancel out from here b times minus two and uh, multiplied by from here it is two. So we will get B equals minus one by four. Now, again, we choose some other values of n. Suppose n equal to half. So when n equal to half, this will become zero and this will become zero. So we will get one equal to A times, this will become one by two, so two, two will cancel out. So A times two, and this will give one, so this is four. From here, we get a equal to one upon eight. And now, we have got b as minus four and uh, a as one by eight. And uh, now let's choose some other values so that these, we can get the value of c also. So we can choose any arbitrary value, suppose uh, n equal to, suppose we write it minus three by four. 
So when we write n equal to minus three, right, this term will become zero. This term will become zero, and we will get c. So c, and if we put the values, so we will get c into eight equal to one, and that will give c equal to one upon eight. Now we have got the values of a, b, c. So our question becomes one upon. 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3. We have written a upon plus 1. So a is 1 upon 8 times 2n minus 1 plus b upon b is minus 1 by 4. 1 upon 4 times 2n minus 1 plus c is also 1 upon 8. So 1 upon 8 times. 2n plus 3. Now, so we have got Tn. That's equal to Tn. Now let's write the values. So T1. So T1 will be 1 upon 8 times here. We write 1, here 1, and 1. So we will get 1 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. And then we find T2. T2 will be equal to 1 upon 8 times 1 upon 3 minus 2 by 5 plus 1 upon 7. Next, we write T3, 1 upon 8 times it will give 1 upon 5 minus 2 by 7 plus 1 upon 9. And so on. We write Tn minus 1. So that gives 1 upon 8. In place of n, we are going to write n minus 1. So we will get 1 upon 2n minus 3 minus 2 upon 2n minus 1 plus 1 upon 2n plus 1. And finally, we write Tn. So that gives 1 upon 8 times 1 upon 2n minus 1 minus 2 upon 2n plus 1 plus 1 upon 2n plus 3. Now we add these terms t1 plus t2 plus dot 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 plus tn. So we write it as sn. So sn will be 1 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 and so on. So we write last terms 2n minus 1 minus 2 upon 2n plus 1 plus 1 upon 2n plus 3. So what do we observe? The terms in between will cancel out only we will be left with 1 and from here 1 by 3 2 by 2 1 minus 1 by 3 plus not plus but minus 1 upon 2 and plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 and plus 3 now to get sum up to infinity, we write limit n tends to infinity Sn. So here, in place of n, if we write infinity, then we will be left with 0 here. This will also become 0 because 1 upon infinity gives 0. So only, and here, outside the bracket we have left 1 by 8 so we must write it 1 by 8 so these terms will become 0 this term will become 0 this term will become 0 we will be left with 2 by 3 so 1 upon 8 times 2 by 3 so we write s infinity equal to 1 upon 8 times 2 by 3 and that will be 1 by 2 which is our answer now let's consider next question, question number five. It says, 
let a be the sum of first 20 terms of series a represents sum of 20 terms of given series that i will write after and b represents sum of 40 term first 40 terms first 20 terms sum of first 40 terms and the relation is b minus 2a is given as 100 lambda we have to find out lambda when series is 1 square plus 2 times 2 square plus 3 square plus 2 times 4 square plus 4 plus 5 square plus 2 times 6 square and so on. Now let's consider its solution. So here A is given as sum of first 20 terms. So 1 square plus 2 times 2 square plus 3 square plus 2 times 4 square plus dot 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 plus 2 times 20 square. Here 2 times is used for even numbers. So this can be written as 1 square plus 2 square. Here we can write 2 square twice. So I'm taking 2 square in one bracket and then 2 square I will separate. So 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 till 20 square in one bracket. And then from here, we will have 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square plus 8 square till 20 square. Here only even numbers are there. It means there will be 10 terms. Here there are 20 terms. So we can apply the formula of sum of squares of natural numbers that is given by n into n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So here n is 20. So 20 into 20 plus 1, that is 21 uh, times 2n plus 1, double of 20 plus 1, that is 41 divided by 6. And from here, if we take common 2 square, then 1 square plus 2 square till 10 square will be left. So 2 square is 4 and uh, times. We will be left with 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till 10 square. Now we evaluate it. So this will give 20 into 21 into 41 divided by 6 plus this will give 4 times 10 into 11 into 21 divided by 6. So we simplify it. So we get 20 into 21 divided by 6 within bracket 41 plus 22. And we further simplify it. So we get 4, 4, 1, 0. So we have got the value of A. Now we have to find out the value of B and that represents the sum of first 40 terms. So let's see. So B is B equals 1 square plus 2 times 2 square plus 3 square plus 2 times 4 square plus dot 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 till 40 square times 2 because 40 is equal. So we again write this as 1 square plus 2 square plus dot 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 plus 40 square in one bracket and in the second bracket we write 2 square plus 4 square plus dot 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 plus 40 square. Here there will be 20 terms, here there are 40 terms. So we apply the formula, sum of squares of natural number. So n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So 40 into 41 into double of 40. So that is 81 
square root of 40 plus 1, 2 and plus 1 divided by 6 plus. We can take common 4 from here. So 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, till 20 square we will do that. So we can say 20 into 21 into 41 divided by 6. So we can write it 40 into 41 divided by 6, then 81 and plus from here 42. So that will give 40 into 41 multiplied by 123 divided by 6, which will become 33620. Now, our condition is B minus 2A equal to 100 lambda. B, we have got this much, 33620 minus 2A. A, we have got as 4410. So, twice of it will become 8820. Two zero equal to 100 lambda. So we can simplify and uh, finally we will get lambda equal to 248, which is our answer. Thank you for watching.